Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with a lot of glitter and metallic, which, you know, always puts me in a good mood. Hopefully it will do the same for you. The wonderful land of lip toppers. This has been such a trend. You see it on Instagram. You see companies coming out with full ranges of something called a lip topper. And I had a feeling that some of you out there might be wondering what on the earth is something that isn't a lip gloss, it isn't a liquid lipstick. It's just kind of a glitter or metallic finish that you want to put on top of a lipstick, liquid lipstick, and that's the idea behind it. But I guess you could wear these on their own if you really wanted to. So I'm gonna swatch everything for you, go through my favorites, go through the ones that I think are not that great, talk about the different price points, and yeah, let's just hop right in. I wanted to play with shiny things, and that's what we're doing. So the liquid lipstick that I am wearing right now is called In Demand. This is by Smashbox. This is one of my very, very favorite liquid lipsticks. A little bit warm tone, a little bit peachy, and I thought it would be a good base to show you guys some lip toppers on top of it. Why am I waving this around? I also wanted to share that I use this lip liner. In the magical land of lip toppers, one that I want to point out is from Milani. I feel like this is the first product that I experienced that had that kind of lip topper feel where I was more comfortable wearing this on top of another lip product than by itself. And this is called the Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. I believe you can only purchase this online from milani.com now or maybe at Fred Meyer or Walmart, but in my local smaller drugstores, they don't sell it on the display anymore, which is such a shame because this is so absolutely stunning. They have a few different shades. This one is called Venice. The Zhu Wei lip toppers literally smell exactly the same. These both have a very candy, vanilla, warm scent to them. It's really like a very pleasant food scent. And I'm just gonna show you a side-by-side -side swatch so you can kind of get an idea of what I mean with them being very, very similar. So the Jouer one is $16. Milani, of course, is gonna be under 10 bucks. The Jouer one is really pretty. I've had an issue with some of them being a little bit too golden and a little bit too cool tone for my lips and for what I look for. But this one right here, Skinny Dip, is actually really pretty. Jouer now has four lip toppers. The newest one is Rose Gold. Skinny Dip is the one that I have tried out. They have one called Tan Lines. It's a bit more bronze, not for me. And then they have one called Frostbite that is very silvery not for me, and if I have to pick between the two of these, I do prefer the Milani one because it's just a touch more gritty and glittery, but this one is a beautiful formula, so if you see a color that you do enjoy, it is nice. This one is infused with coconut oil, and it is a little bit better ingredient-wise, but I mean, this one works great too. So these are the more metallic glittery of the bunch. I do also have one from Stila. This one is called the Glitterati Lip Top Coat, and this is in transcend there is one other shade i don't know why i'm shaking that oh my god i almost just gave myself a heart attack that is actually the one thing i wanted to warn you about is that even though you do want to shake it you want to make sure you kind of cover the seal right here because oil sometimes can kind of spurt out of it which is a huge huge drawback but i do want to say the finish of it i'm going to put some on right now is so pretty watch my lips completely transform okay ready So this has more of an oily kind of a base, which makes the oil sink into your lips, I feel. And then you have that glitter that just kind of lingers and stays put on top, which I really love. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. This one is $22, but I think it's worth every penny. I do really, really like it. Just, just don't shake it up too hard. Be careful, but it's worth the journey is what I'm gonna say. All right, moving on to the more metallic finishes. Kevin Aquan just came out with these new lip toppers. Now to me, it's a little bit disappointing just because I thought they were gonna be really glittery like this and like the Jouer one where the top coat just picks up so much dimension, makes your lips look bigger, has that nice glittery dry down. These are just straight metallic and I wanna swatch for you a few of the shades, I actually was kind of like the makeup investigator at Neiman's. I didn't buy every single shade, forgive me. I only bought two because I kind of had a feeling that these were just not gonna be my speed, but I wanted to show a couple of them on camera. So these two right here are the lip toppers. The more opal one is actually called Cyber Opal. And then the peachy one is called 
rose gold. Now I will insert a little bit of me kind of swatching the rest of them on my hand and very secretly like taking a little video in the store so that you guys could see what they actually look like because these are pretty expensive. These are 30 bucks a piece. This is a new item in their range. It was so funny because I went to look for this specifically and then I ended up buying an eyeshadow duo because while I was waiting for her to like pull the product, I kept just like touching everything. The newer duos, the eyeshadows that they just came out with, oh, powdery, buttery, but not fluffy. Um, just a really beautiful eyeshadow that I cannot wait to play with on my channel. This, um, like I'll show you. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. You guys, I kind of have a feeling that I'm gonna be wearing like 5,000 lip products by the end of this video. Let's just put a little bit of this on too. Just, just like, why not? Let's just see. It's pretty. I just want sparkles, you know? I want a little more sparkles. So if you wanted something that was opalescent like this, but you wanted those sparkles, I do have something for you. So we're gonna talk about the Urban Decay Lip Toppers. I used these in my recent blue festival inspired crazy blue look. Some of you guys loved it, some of you guys didn't, and you know, that's just the way life goes. But I did really enjoy the blue metallic lip. I thought it was really pretty. And even though that might not be something that I wear in my day-to-day -day life, just trying it out and knowing that someone may be able to come up with the same concoction and look really cute, I love that. So one has more of a green tone type of a reflect in it and the other has a violet. I'm gonna use the one with violet. And this is new from Urban Decay. It's called the Special Effects Lip Topper. The Urban Decay lip toppers are $18. Ooh, wow, see that goes, that is going on quite blue. I don't know if this goes with my look today, guys, but I wanted to show you. So you can imagine putting that on top of any other more cool toned or plum or like deep berry shade. This is gonna look really, really incredible. So this is just one of them. They have 12 shades. I'm gonna put an insert in with some swatches for you guys. I think the texture on this is very lightweight. It doesn't give as much shine as maybe I would want. If they had added just a little bit of metallic in here, then that would be like my dream come true because you would have the glitter and metallic. But the fact that they have so many different shade options and that they're really just unique from everything else out there that I've seen, and they brought out so many colors at once, I just have to say I really enjoy it. And $18 is pretty reasonable. So I do like these from Urban Decay. This one right here, because I just feel like trying one more, is called Copycat. So you can see, and I have like piled on product right now, but you can see that it just gives a little more dimension to your lip look, and I think that's pretty cool, especially on top of a matte liquid lipstick. I recently did a Instagram post of a sparkly lip gloss, which really in my mind is totally a lip topper. Now, this is from Bite Beauty. This is a line that uses food grade ingredients, and there are no phthalates, sulfates, it's paraben free. There's a lot of really rich, nourishing ingredients added as well. I really love Bite Beauty. I think they do such a fabulous job with their products. They're just well made through and through. And they brought these out that are called a lip gloss, but they're so sparkly and so metallic. And I really, really love them. So I'm gonna fix my lip situation by just putting on a little bit of this. It smells kind of almost lemony, lemony but sweet, I think. I have three of these from Bite Beauty. Actually, I have four, but I don't know where my other one went. I took photos of it and then I lost it, forgive me. So I have the one that I just put on. This is called Pink Pearl. I also have Oyster Pearl and I have Champagne Pearl. And these are 22 bucks a piece. All right, let's move on to the biggest disappointment ever. These are 16 bucks a piece for these little trios. I picked this up at Urban Outfitters and I just wanna warn you, if you guys are shopping in there, do not buy this because it is basically just a lipstick dipped in glitter. So you get the lipstick part and you're like, wait, that is just a cream lipstick, which is fine and nice, but it's kind of like for 16 bucks, you look through the package and you're like, oh my gosh, is that just like, a stick of glitter because that's what I thought it was. And I was like, this is gonna be the most amazing top coat ever. It's going to change my life. I'm gonna be glittery, things are good. And then I opened this up and I was like, wait, what the heck? So this is what you get. And then you use it once and you get glitter that kind of crumbles. And then underneath it, you just get like a so-so lipstick. It's just kind of weird. I don't know, I feel tricked. 
be tricked. I just wanted to swatch a few of my other favorite metallic products. I am gonna link below the Smashbox video that I did. I have full try-ons of an entire metallic collection that I really adore and love. I feel like they're very nourishing, they're very long wearing, they are not patchy. I know in that video I tried on like the full collection, so by the end of it, my lips were just like done. But they are absolutely beautiful. Another really gorgeous one is from Lancome. I have the shade Mirrored Nude. I'm gonna show you a swatch. And you'll see this is right underneath those Kevin Aquan swatches. And this is even more opaque, which I really, really love. Let's just, for the hell of it, let's put on like more. It's the how many lip toppers can you put on challenge. Do you see how stunning that is? I really like it. I love this color too. This color in particular is just so, so pretty. And then I also wanted to show you the shade Lavender Patina because I thought this shade was really unusual and very, very pretty and smooth and picks up just the tiniest bit of lilac, which can be super flattering on top of, again, any of your berries or darker toned lip products. And I have the budget friendly option too, because we all need that. Like we all need a budget friendly option. This is from NYX. These are the lip creams and they have a metal range. These are not as good as the Smashbox or Lancome, but they are nowhere near as expensive either. They're almost a little bit too bright. That's the problem. Like they almost give off a little bit too creamy metallic where it can look harsh depending on the shade. But I just wanted to let you guys know that there are you know, more affordable options out there as well. Um, I hope this educated you a little bit further on the land of lip toppers. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to leave me comments and say hello because I enjoy hearing from you guys so much and I do read everything. And I'm sending you all of my love. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.